5 drush commands. But first, what is drush? Well, drush is a command line tool that could be very useful as you're developing for Drupal. We're going to be taking a look at drush status, drush cache rebuild, drush ws, which is showing the messages from the database logging, drush uli, drush sql dump, and as a bonus, I will show you also how to import a database. So as we have here a Drupal instance, which is called Drupal up, if we go to Aqua Dev Desktop and if we mark this instance and we click on more and open console, we basically have the terminal opened and if we type drush version we see that we have here drush installed so let's go ahead and start with the cache rebuild so quite often you have to clear the cache as you're developing stuff for drupal and you can do it with the help of drush simply by typing drush cr for drush cache rebuild and yes cache rebuild complete that means that the cache for this drupal instance was rebuilt let's go ahead and see what warnings and error messages do we have in the reports and then recent log messages so usually when you have some problem here are locked some things for your Drupal instance, but basically we can see them also with the help of Drush. So in order to do it, we just type Drush WS and we see the same error messages. So for example, if the Drupal instance is somehow offline or couldn't boot, Basically, it's very handy to go to Drush and just type Drush WS and see what warnings and error messages do you have. The next Drush command is super handy because what happens if you, let's say, log out and if you forgot your admin password? So it's not the case here for me, but let's say I don't know it and I'm typing something and I can't log in and that's a problem. But thanks to Drush, we can simply create a one-time login. So let's type Drush Uli and it generates for us this one-time login and as you see we just need this bit here and we copy it and we append it from here and we hit enter and voila we're locked in we're able to change the password and we can continue doing our admin stuff that's perfect so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a database backup so you see here we have three articles let's go ahead and create a database backup and we're going to delete some and I will show you how to revert the database backup again with Drush so let's clear here to have it a bit more clean and let's go ahead and type Drush SQL dump and we're going to pipe it with gzip in order to have it gzipped and we're going to call it so usually I call it like Drupal up and it's very handy to have it for example it's the 28th of May 2018 and the time is 21.47 and I just call it sql.gz and as we hit enter yes as we ls here we see that we have a file 
with the database backup. So let's go ahead and delete two articles and oh no I deleted them what should I do they were very important articles let's say but thanks to our database backup that we just created we can simply import the database backup and we would have the articles again reverted so let's go ahead and type g unzip because we had it gzipped and let's type drupal up and the full name of the database backup and let's pipe it with drush sql c and we hit enter and in a perfect world it should just work let's jump to our drupal instance and if we refresh and yes our articles are reverted and we're happy because no information was lost perfect if you like this video please check the links in the description like the video subscribe ask if you have any questions and thanks for watching